Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Thank God it's Friday. So this morning, we are going to do something fun, okay? I'm really looking forward to uh, share this video with you this morning. Uh, okay, the reason why I bought uh, the Lagoon P64 because it comes with the bearable speed, which means they have a, a 0 through 9. Hold on, let me check one more time here. The low speed is at one okay so low uh, low rpm is one and go up to nine so here's what we're going to do this morning because i'm really curious about what happens when we grind really low rpm versus high rpm using the exact same grinder setting okay so i have two beans here uh they're actually i'm highlight uh, i'm highlighting uh onyx coffee this month month of february so this is ethiopia walker Chalabas, Chalabas, Chalabasa, I think. Uh, anaerobic process, great tasting notes. Uh, ripe strawberry, we have black tea, we have jasmine and brown sugar. So, uh, I did a pour over a couple of days ago. Man, that was fantastic. So we are going to, so this is 18 gram each. And then uh, let's pull the shot, pull the espresso shot. And Let's see here. Here's my recipe. I'm going to be doing about two, 1 to 2.5 ratio. So we got 18 gram in, around like 45 gram hour or so, okay, around uh, the range there. And then I'm going to be using my Lele Bianca as the machine this morning, not the Brista Express. Uh, we're going to, I'm, I have something planned for that later. Uh, so we're going to be using Bianca with maybe like a little bit of flow control, okay, maybe a little bit of flow control. but. The mainly I really want to see, is there any taste difference in uh, the flavor in coffee? And the, you know what? I do want to, the time, how long is, because obviously low RPM is going to take a while. So I'm going to be timing uh, time that as well on the P64. So, so you know what? I'm going to start with the uh, number nine. Okay, let's start with the high RPM and then let's pull the shot and let's go to low. And then uh, go from there. By the way, if you haven't entered the giveaway, okay, I'm gonna put the link down below. We have two giveaways coming uh, going on right now. One for the DF64 with the SSP burst, and the uh, the other one is the San Anthony Industry the grinder set plus the Prover kit. They are fantastic. Okay, make sure so I'm gonna put the link down below. Make sure if you haven't entered it yet. So that one is going through uh, February 26th, and then we're going to be announcing the winner on 27th. Okay, so let's get going. So let's start with high RPM. So what I'm going to do is I'm also curious about what, what kind of retention we're going to get as well. Start the copy grinder here. So you got, I'm, I'm gonna have. So this is a 18.2 gram right now, 18.1. Okay, take one out. We got 18 grams. So this one, one bean is weight about about 0.1 gram. 17.9. Eighteen. Okay, that's fine. Eighteen point one gram. Okay. Okay, we got eighteen point one gram in. So with this, I like to do the RDT. The RDT means the Ross Droplet technique. There. I know some people likes to use the squirt bottle, but I like to use just spoon. Just go through it like this, and then shake it. Finish it up. All right. All right, let's take a look. Let me give you guys a close look here, guys. Right now, we're going to go all the way up to number nine. That's pretty fast. Uh, not as much as static either. It works pretty good there. I'm going to give it a gentle tap. Let's 
that's it. You got 18.1 gram in earlier. 18.4 gram. Most likely we have some coffee being stuck inside from earlier today. Okay, so it does retain a little bit of coffee. Okay, I'm just gonna take some coffee out. Okay, let's do 18 gram. There we go. So let's pull the shot. All right. Let's go to temping station there. Uh, for the consistency base, I think I'm going to be using the force temper this morning. You know what? Uh, let's do the WDT. Why not? Okay. Let's do the WDT as well. Go nice and easy. Quick distribution here. You does a pretty good job though. Okay, I have to say I'm really okay, here's force temper here. So I'm using the ripple, has a little bit of ripple there, and I'm going to finish it up with puck screen. I'm just going to heat up my puck screen for a second. The people ask me, what's the benefit of using the puck screen? You know, the, in reality is, I like having the dry, uh, dry puck and also having a clean shower screen. That's it. It's going to make your taste better. No, nah, maybe not. But again, I like to having the uh, clean, the shower, crane, uh, shower screen after I'm done with it. All right. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm just gonna do full. I'm just gonna open up full. And then I'm gonna be using the flow control slightly. Mid nine bar there. A little bit of channeling. I'm gonna shoot for 45 gram. Forty-nine at twenty-three seconds. Okay. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of channeling. But so next one we're gonna do is I'm gonna set to this one to the side. Again, so this is why I like having uh, a shower, not the shower screen. Yeah, shower, not the shower screen, but this puck screen. Okay, that's it. Just having a dry, uh, dry puck. All right, so let's move on to shot number two. Uh, I'm just going to wait about a few minutes for this. Once it cool down. So let's work on the shot number two. So we're gonna go all the way down to number one uh, uh, at my grinder size, okay? You know what? Maybe two. Okay, I'm good. Let's do two. Okay, well, I think one is way, way too slow. So this one. Got 18.2 gram inside. 18 point, 18 gram right there. Okay. Doing the same process. Just the one scoop of water. Not the one scoop. Kind of like, you know, just like that. All right, I'm gonna start my grinder. Let's find how long it's gonna to take to grind 18 gram in low RPM.
It's a low RPM, supposed to give you the more uniform. Since we have a high uniformity birds inside, so takes about about 50 seconds to do it. Okay. Just gonna tap a few more times there. It's so got 18 gram in, 17.8 gram out. Okay, hold on. Let me find 0.2 gram somewhere. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna tap it. Okay, here we go. Ah, that's close enough. I got 17.9 gram. Close to 18. Okay, let's finish up the puck prep. The exact same process here. The grind is, seems more floppy though, as you can see. Seems more floppy to me. The distribution. Okay, and then we're gonna do the, another puck screen. I'm gonna heat it up, like last time. I mean, earlier we saw some a uh, little, little bit of splash there with channeling. We'll see how it goes this time. Looks a lot better. Less ch oh, that's channeling right there. We're gonna shoot for forty-five gram. Flow is a little faster, okay. The flow is faster than this 20 second shot versus 23 second shot. So that's 23 second, 20 second. You know what? Let's try anyway, okay. The, I think it seems like somewhat under extract, but I bet you can go, or we can go even a little finer, but let's take a look at the flavor. Is there any flavor difference? Definitely you saw the extraction time about three seconds. Okay, it's about three seconds. We'll see. So I'm gonna start with a uh, high RPM first. Now it's, uh, it's been about a few minutes to cool down, so it should be perfect. Cheers guys, happy Friday. Man, it smells pretty good there. Okay. Wow. Pretty smooth. Strawberry, ripe strawberry for sure. Jasmine, I can taste it after fact. Black tea is very subtle black tea and sweet. Okay. I think I, we are hitting the, all the tasting notes this morning. Not bad. So that's the high RPM. So let's try with the low RPM. <clears throat> okay. So let's try the low RPM here. So this is about 20 second shot too. It's pretty fast. But you know, who knows? Okay, let's try this. Cheers. Okay. I can definitely smell the jasmine here, guys. Wow. Smooth. More balanced. Very clean. I prefer the low RPM. I don't know about you guys, but even with 
Yeah, even where those are uh, somewhat under extracted. I really enjoy this low RPM shot here. It's very nice. Okay, I have to say, it's pretty, pretty nice. So with the high RPM one, I can taste a little bit of bitterness too. Again, and both, so uh, both shots are somewhat under extracted. 23 seconds versus 20 seconds shot. So yeah, you know what? It's not bad, okay? I, I guess right now, I prefer lower RPM. By the way, uh, if you have uh, adjustable RPM grinder at home, love to hear your thoughts on it, okay? You, uh, you prefer low or high? I prefer low. I so again, so if you're just joining us right now, we compare uh, high RPM on Lagoon P64. I, I went with the number nine, and then uh, the other shot with the number two. Again, I really enjoy the lower RP. It's more smooth, more gentle. Man, has a lot of flavor, okay? It's fantastic. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys having a, I hope this video, you know, somewhat entertain you guys. You know, I don't know about helping you, but yeah, I mean, definitely I'm really enjoying this live streaming. So Lisa, I get, uh, I get to share my, you know, my coffee with you every single morning. Uh, if you haven't uh, entered the giveaway, I'm gonna put the link down below after I'm done with it. Make sure enter it, okay? So DF64 is US only, okay? But uh, the, I have another uh, giveaway right now, St. Anthony Industry, that's pretty much worldwide. So uh, uh, St. Anthony Industry, their the meat right hand grinder, uh, I'm going to put some of their merchandise as well. Their pullover kits, they're fantastic. They're all packed and ready to go. So they're amazing. I mean, they're a really good setup. Okay, you don't need anything. So uh, make sure you enter that, okay, today. And I'm going to remind you guys again tomorrow morning. But uh, if you guys are on right now, if you guys are following me on Instagram, uh, join me on Instagram. So I'm going to be go head to head. Uh, kind of like battle of Brista Express. Uh, for I'm gonna be go, going against with the Dylan from Dylan's uh, Express Bar. So Dylan is on chat room as well. So we're gonna be uh, competing for Latte Art. So we're gonna be using the Brista Express. Uh, he has one as well. So so whoever on the live streaming, you know, you be the judge. Okay, we're gonna have uh, the rating set up for one to one hundred. So 50% goes to puck prep, which means uh, we, we both are going to use the bottomless pork filter. So, you know, who has the better shot quality? And then you got also, we are going to uh, judge the, the latte art. Okay. So, should be fun. Okay. We are using the Brista Express, the head to head. So, anyway, uh, if you guys have time, join us in about a few minutes. Uh, if not, I'm going to see you guys later.